Oh, I really like it here. Get a little bit of the sun, a little breeze. It's more kind of tan without feeling baked. And when it gets too hot out, you just go for a swim. I really like swimming, don't you? I like it, okay? I can tell by the way you're built. I bet you're really good to Oh my god, I bet you think you're being subtle. Why are you here? This is private property. Well, I needed a chance to unwind after that hectic photo shoot at the Metro Court. We are a team, right? We can go someplace else if you want. Let's see how you would want to run and hide. We don't want you to get all hot and bothered. Lulu might get the wrong idea. No, we are not going anywhere. We were here first. And I'm not letting Maxie ruin our afternoon. Besides, it's kind of fun watching her make a fool of herself. Careful, Lulu, with your delicate skin, you could break out in some of those horrible freckles. I always like to use sunscreen. SPF 15. Would you mind? I will never get an even tan because Johnny was too chicken to put lotion on that. I'd be happy to slather you up, Maxie. Forget it. You know, Spinelli was here. He would do it. Why don't you just go find Spinelli? I can't. He's in quarantine. Duh. What quarantine? Oh, you don't know? I guess Spinelli forgot to call you. He was exposed to some contagious disease. He ordered pizza while it was at Jason's house, and the delivery guy had some Asian something or other. So then the hazmat guys showed up and said none of them could be for, like, 24 hours. Who's who? Well, Spinelli, Jason, and Claudia. I'm surprised your sister didn't tell you. Well, she told me she was quarantined, but not where it was. Yeah. Oh, Spinelli said that there was nothing wrong with her one. Well, she's not sick or anything. And Jason's usually grumpy on a good day, so you can imagine what it's like being stuck in that apartment. Maybe you should go see if your sister needs some rescuing. Yeah, my sister needs my help. She'll call me. Want to go first one? Yeah, I do. Good. You guys go ahead. I'll hang out here and hold the board down. Some kind of code? Where is he? The quarter main boathouse with me and Lulu. I see. Whoever you are, tell Johnny that he can swim at the quarter main boathouse with his little blonde girl at some other time. Right now he needs to dry off and get his ungrateful ass over to the Metro Court. His father needs him. Oh, I love your boat. It looks so fast. That's what the big motor is for, Maxie. Any chance you'll take me for a ride? No chance at all. It's such a shame. We could have so much more fun. I've had hair extensions more interesting oh, than Lulu. For God's sake, Maxie, we have tried to not hurt your feelings. Not that you have any. But you obviously can't take a hint, so I'm going to have to spell it out for you. Johnny is not interested. In other words, go away. Okay. But only because I have to get back to work. Work. You remember what that is, right? And don't worry, I'll cover for you with Kate again, because if there's anything that I am, it's a team player. And since we're a team, anytime you take an afternoon off to sunbathe, I get one too. Nice try, but that's not why you came here. Of course not. I came by to give Johnny an eyeful what is missing. If that makes you feel insecure, it should. I got it. We'll see if you tell. I show you how little you have to worry. Wait, what, 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 what's wrong? What's wrong? I don't know. You said this place had bad memories for you. Let's go for oh, this one. No, maybe what I need to do is replace the bad memories with some good ones. <laughs> <laughs> ah. What's taking you so long? What are you talking about? I told the bimbo who answered your phone before that I needed to see you. So unless you've drowned, unwrap yourself from Lulu and get over here. Why? What's going on? Your sister is in a position to take advantage of a major opportunity that's going to benefit us all. Oh, you, this should be fun. Getting old, Maxie. 
You know, for your information, I didn't plan this. I had to go home and shower and change before coming back to work, which happens to be on the third floor. Can we go now? One more thing. I don't have to lurk around hotel lobbies or jump into elevators to get you to notice me. You can do that on your own. I really just want to get to the third floor so you can get off here. You are rude. And the lawyer. I saw you watching me all afternoon. Yeah, I noticed how rude you were to Lulu on purpose. There's got to be a reason for that. Um, she deserves it. You know, Maxie, at the Overlook the other night, it did seem like you were halfway decent. You got it in you. You got to focus more time on that than wasting your time chasing me around. Looks like we're stuck. Never a good idea to swim alone, Lulu. What are you doing here? You look good. The truth is, I've missed you. 